Hey guys, Gavin Rossi here, and uh, today I wanted to talk about unredacting documents. Uh, now, this topic was recently just in the news um, with the case of the Florida school shooter from Parkland, Nicholas Cruz. There is a newspaper down there, the Florida Sun Sentinel, and they recently published some details of a report that was public on the school district's website, but they didn't use the right tools to redact the document, so they ended up being able to take the publicly available PDF file of, uh, of this report, and uh, they processed the document, and they were able to remove some of the redactions. Um, and then there was a judge, there was a video of this circulating on social media, of this judge who was incensed at this and uh, was highly critical um, of the reporters for doing this. But, you know, it is completely legal if they fail to properly redact something. Uh, it's definitely fair game to go through documents and uh, see what you're able to get. So this got me thinking, it made me think about a previous Oprah request that I did uh, back in 2017, not via uh, my website Oprah Machine, uh, but via my direct email. And uh, in this particular Oprah request, at the time, I realized that the records custodian failed to redact it properly. So I'm just going to use this as a little bit of an example to show you how you could do the same thing with documents that you obtained from your request. So let's jump into it. So I have here the email that I received from the records custodian uh, in response to this, this Oprah request, and I just asked for uh, email logs of uh, the principal for Pinelands Regional High School. This was at the time of the uh, asbestos uh, issues that were first coming to light that uh, resulted in the school's closure. So uh, we're just going to open up this PDF file um, that I was provided in response to my request, um, and we're just going to look through it here. And uh, we're going to actually go into the tools here to edit it. And that's when we're going to start getting into the information that they redacted. So here is the email log portion. Um, and this is where they, they really screwed up um, the redactions, as you'll see. You can see I have this black box here selected um, that they used to redact this PDF with. And look at that. There's the name that they redacted. Um, and it's fully visible right here. Um, there really wasn't anything that was a groundbreaking revelation um, in these redactions that I was able to remove. It was mostly just names of employees, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a unique scenario because now it kind of gives us the opportunity to look behind the curtain and see if the records custodian actually properly um, applied the Oprah exemption. You know, was this something that was validly withheld, uh, such as uh, uh, employee personnel record? Or is there something that could be newsworthy that is uh, buried within those redacted uh, blocks of text that are throughout these, uh, these documents? So, you know, as I've showed you, it's just a simple matter of selecting this black box, um, deleting it, and it gets unredacted. And uh, it's something that's very easily done. Um, you know, again, mostly names. Um, but again, this could be used for any other document that is not properly redacted. Um, if they were using something like uh, Adobe Acrobat, which we have open right here, it has a feature uh, built right into it. Uh, that allows you to properly redact the documents and ensure that the uh, both image and text uh, are properly removed. But again, this is an instance where public officials failed to do that. So what I just showed you here is pretty much the exact same thing that these reporters uh, in Florida did with respect to the document concerning uh, the Florida school shooting. And uh, the biggest takeaway from this, I would say, is, uh, you know, these confidentiality laws that apply to uh, public entities um, so governing the release of documents that would prevent them from releasing something, you know, such as FERPA or HIPAA, um, doesn't necessarily apply to the media. Um, and because of that, we're able to use the information that is uh, contained in these documents if they are unredacted. So thank you for watching. Hope you found this useful.